transforming a neighborhood takes time. Sinai Hospital collaborated with his community groups to do it. Get this in just six hours. Tracy Long explains the new project that will serve more than 600 kids. Sinai Hospital wanted to celebrate their 150th anniversary, so they decided to build a playground right in the middle of their neighborhood. Creating a brighter future for the Park Heights community. We got so much blight in the neighborhood, run down homes, kids need to play. This is our community, it's our kids, it's our responsibility. This new playground will give 600 neighborhood kids a place to call their own. There haven't been a lot of resources available to this community. It's been a community in transition, and we want this to be a visible sign that this neighborhood is changing. Sinai Hospital honoring their commitment to their community. At Sinai Hospital, we have over 300 people who, who live in this community, and so we are part of this neighborhood. Volunteers from Neighborhoods United, Park Heights Renaissance, and the nonprofit Kaboom also joining forces to complete this project, which took about six hours and hundreds of volunteers. The most important thing in the world. If you wake up in the morning and we're not doing anything for our children, why, why, why even wake up? A labor of love and a symbol of hope for our next generation. 100%. I'm Tracy Leong, WJZ Eyewitness News. And this is Kaboom and Sinai's first playground built together. In total, Kaboom has built more than 16,000 playgrounds in the U.S.